This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here. It is good to see you again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my replacement refs, I mean <laughs> replacement applications um, that I use to replace some of these stock applications that iOS come with because I've been using iOS ever since the first generation iPhone, so the stock apps are starting to feel a little stale to me. So these are some of the apps that I use to kind of add a lot more functionality to the things that we use every day on our phone. So go ahead and check it out. All right, so it's going to start off things here and show you my replacement for the music app. And I use an application called Denon Audio. And this application automatically taps into all the things in your music app, like your playlist and things like that. You can see it automatically syncs over all of my songs and albums and stuff like that. I can go ahead and browse that if I wanted to. But say to me, go ahead and go into one of my playlists here and choose a song this song right here. Now, once I tap on it, it gives me a couple options. I can choose to play it now, play it next, play now and replace my cue, or I can add it out to the end of the cue. I'm just gonna add this and end in my cue. And so this means that now if I'm already playing this song like here, I go ahead and pause that or just let it play and I can go ahead and browse my cue so I can automatically choose what song I wanna have to play uh, next. It's kind of like instant playlist or playlist on the fly. And you can edit this if you wanted to. You can adjust the songs, move the songs up and down or delete them from the cue if you wanna do that. But let's go ahead and go back to this, uh, just the display here when you are playing a song i do like with the audio slider it shows you the percentage of, of the uh, uh the volume right there now you can also go in here and mess around with some of the eq they do have some eq uh, presets here as you can see and you can adjust these if you wanted to just like that uh, but if i'm going to start playing the song here you can you know again manually adjust some of these things and of course that will change how the song sounds uh, and you can turn this on or off just like this now real quick i almost forgot to uh, show you this i had to re-record this part uh, but this application also has tune in radio built inside of it so tune in radio is a separate application that you can use for all your internet radio needs that i really like uh, but it's built inside of this den and audio application so i can go to find local radio or i can search radio really all over the world and find something i want to listen to tap on that and i'll go ahead and start playing and i can go ahead and listen to the uh, radio right within this application now one thing i think you can't do is record the radio like you do in the in the separate tune in radio app but again uh, this then an audio application has all of your audio needs in one single place. Now this next app needs no introduction. This is Google Maps. So this is my replacement for iOS 6 Maps, which a lot of people were definitely grateful that Google decided to release this thing um, on iOS. And it's just a lot more fluid. It has uh, better um, search results. So you are looking for something that has a huge library of different addresses and things like that. Um, of course, you have this satellite view and I don't think this has a, a street view, but if I slide up on the bottom here, I can see more information about the Mercedes-Benz Superdome that I just searched for. I can save this. I can choose to call it directly or I can go ahead and share this in a message or mail and uh, you can look at some of the photos that people have taken at this location again it's just a little bit more robust than the uh, the mass application that comes in iOS 6 I'm not gonna spend too much time on this I actually made a separate video on um, this thing was released so if you want to check that out you can uh, this is Google Maps now the next app I'm about to show you replaces the native email client in iOS and this is called Sparrow. And this is a, again one of these applications that they have developed to be very fast and efficient. It's really fast as you um, navigate through the applications. You can see here it's just very responsive. And again I have all my emails here like so if I can pull down to refresh to see if I have any new emails and also I can search my inbox or whatever folder I'm in uh, just by tapping at that and just going to start typing. And now if I go ahead and tap into this email at the bottom right hand corner if I hit this little arrow I have all the different options here. Uh, I can choose to reply to it, I can start uh, to it, I can delete the email if I wanted to, just like that. If I go in here into the settings, you see there you got a couple options. You can always uh, you can show the priority inbox or you can all, always uh, uh, do the reply all function. So this is called Sparrow. Pretty nice application. Now one thing though, I will be replacing this Sparrow email application with this new mailbox app, which has been released, but there's a waiting list for it. Uh, there's a lot of people that really want this application. But anyway, uh, a, lot of, a lot of reviews have already came out for it and people have been very positive about it. A lot of people are calling it the, the best email application out. Uh, but you can see here, I'm 44,000 people back, but there are 703,000 people behind me so when I am actually able to use this app I'll make a separate video going over it but again it's been extremely extremely uh, positive and very popular amongst a lot of people so stay tuned for that if you want to download it right now so you can get in line you will have a long wait though now this next application can be used to replace the dollar application this one is called faces visual photo dollar light very long name uh, but this one allows you to either um, call email facetime somebody just by tapping on their picture of their beautiful mugs here and so this is a lot faster sometimes than using the regular contacts application or the dollar app and again if i just tap on my brother here i'll go ahead and automatically call him um, you can go into the settings and actually change it to um, show you the contact info first uh, when you do tap it but again you can adjust it how you want to 
to use it and so anyway you can uh, reorganize these if you wanted to adjust these around like so and um, if you wanted to delete them of course just delete something like that I don't know I'm not gonna delete anybody in there I don't want to piss anybody off but again you have different lists you can have one for your family one for your friends you can make as many uh, lists I think as you want to and so again this is just something pretty cool very easy to use and I think it's just a little bit better than just using a regular dollar app all right, now the last application I'm about to show you is called Camera Plus. Now this, of course, replaces the stock camera application in iOS. But I really like this app because it has a lot of cool features. Now one of the things is that you can control the digital zoom just by using the slider, which normally in the camera app for iOS, you have to pinch and zoom, which doesn't really make a lot of sense when you're in the real world of uh, taking pictures. So anyway, um, and going to the settings here, uh, I can uh, turn a stabilizer on, so to have an internal uh, stabilizer, or you can set the timer like I did accidentally there, or you can choose a burst mode. And you're going to take a lot of pictures just like that i'm already up to 16 so that's a lot of pictures and so i really do like those settings and once you um take the pictures you can actually go in here into the gallery and you can choose to quickly uh delete these images which i do have a lot of but let me scroll down here to another image i'm gonna scroll to this image right here i go ahead and quickly share this on facebook on twitter i can save it to my camera roll or i can go ahead and choose edit and now i can uh, choose some quick settings here i can darken the picture add by uh, backlighting to it make it look like the flash is on auto correction and things like that to it and again you can adjust it you can flip it all these good things right here and this is a lot more robust than the uh, uh, the regular camera application that is in iOS so here you do have some uh, F uh, some special about to say FX effect but some special effects um, that you can do to the picture and again you can change the intensity of this effect if you wanted to just like that now another cool thing I'm gonna show you that, that I forgot to show you is that uh, you see there it show autofocus but if you tap and tap that plus button you can choose to have uh, the exposure on one part of the image and have the focus on another part of the image uh, which again just gives you a little bit more control of the pictures that you are taking so anyway this is called the camera plus application my favorite alternative to the camera app in iOS 6 alright guys so that's all the apps I wanted to show you today leave a comment down below what you think about all of these applications but before I do in this video it's gonna take one let's look at our sponsor for this video Today's sponsor is Netflix. If you didn't know, Netflix can stream movies and TV shows to your TV set, your computer, your cell phone, your tablet via the Netflix application. It's also available on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation, Nintendo Wii. Almost everything now has a Netflix app for you to be able to watch all the TV shows and movies that you want to anytime that you want to. So if you want to go ahead and try out Netflix, you can go to netflix.com forward slash soldier and get your free trial membership. Again, that's netflix.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about all these applications that I show you today. And also, too, remember the links are down below for all these different apps if you want to download them from the iTunes App Store. And thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will see you next time. Catch you later. Peace.